Hey Bill, I'm just eating some refried beans and then I'm gonna show you the wallpaper in my bathroom. Here's the wallpaper. We bought this house a few years ago from a lady who was 95. She and her husband had built it. It's pretty interesting, so maybe it doesn't belong in this video to be the second owner of a 70 year old house. For some reason, that motivates me to not update this bathroom. At some point we probably will have to, but it's in pretty good shape for being septuagenarian. One time I broke this piece of glass and of course they don't make these anymore. So fortunately it broke in a perfect split and I was able to glue it back together. But then the glue burned with the light bulb on and so it's brown. But I just turn it this way and I don't think about it anymore. We actually still have the paper plans that they built this house from. It's a better homes and gardens house. The only thing different about the house than the plans is the bomb shelter that the guy built. But that's for another video. <laughs> hey Bill, the other day I borrowed my daughter's sunglasses. You might have seen them in one of my videos. And she wasn't very happy about it. She said I had to wear these as pennants today. I said, but those aren't boring. She said, it's not my problem. I said, but the video's supposed to be boring. She said, you're gonna do fine. Anyway, remember when I showed you my dying tree? Remember it looked like this? Well, I went on a trip and I came back and now it looks like this. Look at those leaves. It's not even close to dead. Just a second, I'm gonna stop filming and take the dead leaves off. Look at that. Good as new. <laughs> Lesson learned, a lot of water, a little patience, and don't steal your kids' sunglasses. I still have 15 more seconds. You can listen to my neighbor, Mo, in the background and watch the cats sleep. Bye now. Bill, I went to Goodwill today and was pretty happy to find some jeans that were 100% cotton. A lot of times they mix in like one to 3% elastic. I'm not trying to wear sweatpants that look like jeans. I just want a pair of jeans. I need them to be a little bit uncomfortable, not like a hair shirt or something. But that was not the best find of the day. Here, let me show you what I got. A box set of 1950s country music from 1978. Eight discs. I got it for six bucks. So many songs. You want to listen to one with me? It's quite possible that no one has ever played this. Look at this. It's mint. Completely unspoiled. All right, let's listen to some George Jones. Last night, a little bit after midnight, I put on some Buck Owens, and I guess I fell asleep because the next thing I knew it was 3.30 in the morning. <laughs> Hey Bill, did you know that I co-own a jigsaw puzzle company? I figure that's kind of on brand for being boring. And to make sure this video is especially dull, I'm going to use it for self-promotion. In addition to being a puzzle purveyor at Blue Kazoo, I also paint. Paintings like this one, Bill. And just today we've released a new series of puzzles of my paintings. We got this one, which makes me think of the quote by Socrates, how can you wonder that your travels do you no good when you always carry yourself around with you? And we got this one. If you get far enough away from it, you can sort of see a donkey or a horse or a elk or a kangaroo in there. And there's one more, but you can go to bluekazoo.games to check that one out. Uh, we only made 300 of this series, so if you want one, now's the time. Bye, Bill. Hey, Bill. This orange jacket was a perfectly normal blue denim coat yesterday, and people have been asking me how I made it. This particular color same thing I'd tell you, because it's pretty boring. There's just three ingredients. One, bleach, as in bleach the hell out of it. Two, dye, as in a bottle of orange writ dye, a packet of their yellow dye, and half a packet of their red. I didn't know how it was going to turn out, but that's okay, because the third ingredient is complete apathy as to the outcome worked. See you, Bill. Hey, Bill. I was reading up on the history of M dashes this morning, and I thought of you. I just ate lunch. I didn't want to leave my studio, so I ate what I had there, which was sauerkraut and flat kombucha, but it was fortifying enough, and now I'm out here to record a video for my other TikTok account. Be forewarned that it's more interesting than this one. You're welcome to join, but you have to behave yourself.
iMovie stopped working on my computer. I made sure everything was up to date system wise. I deleted iMovie and reinstalled it. Still doesn't work. So now I gotta find a new video editing software to use for all this nonsense. My computer's four years old. Maybe, maybe it's in its dotage. I don't know. I don't know anything about computers. I remember in sixth grade, my teacher telling us the difference between RAM and ROM. I still, I still couldn't tell you. I woke up at 629 this morning to the beep of a smoke alarm with a dying battery. So I just fell back asleep with my AirPods in, listening to Alan Watts talk about the Upanishads. But then I woke up a half hour later to the exact same sound because I had set the sleep timer for 30 minutes. So I went to find the smoke alarm, and guess which one it was? The last one I checked. It's always the last place you look. I loved that joke when I was a kid. I just got back from a trip. I was gone five days fishing. Not much of a fisherman, but I caught a bunch of walleye. And as I was sitting in the boat, I wondered why are they called walleye? But I didn't have any internet. So when I got back home, I looked it up, and apparently it's because their eyes are opaque, which I think is a pretty dumb reason. Like, there's lots of opaque things that aren't walls. Why walls in particular? If the only two options were walleye or window eye, then yeah, I would pick walleye, but anyhow, while I was gone, some boxes arrived. Almost tripped over them while I was looking for the smoke alarm. But I'm not going to open them for you because I think that will be too exciting. They're probably puzzles.